Hi, this is Steve Kemp with the People Not Titles podcast. We're here for interview number two with tax lean guru. I named him that, mm -hmm. uh, Ted Thomas. And we were just talking about how I found Ted. I found Ted because I had a question. And Ted, you were the first name that came up on a Google search. And when I started looking at your information, I'm like, this guy is like the king. I think you, you, uh, you uh, bought the tax certificate on Moses's property. If, uh, <laughs> if I read the, if I read the archive right. <laughs> okay. So there's the reason I keep going. See what he said, folks. I'm I'm 84. I'm going on 85. I love doing this. Uh, it's a fun business. It's a good business to make money. And uh, let me tell you a little bit about tax liens. All right. Tax liens and deeds are happening in every state and every county. All right. Now some states you're going to say it better than others but I'll get into all of them as, as I go through these four videos. So every property has a property tax. Now you guys already know that. All right. So if people don't pay their tax, the government has to take action. All right. The action that the government is authorized to do. Now they're not authorized by me. They're authorized by the state legislature. Then the legislature pushes the rules down to the county board of supervisors or county commissioners. And they say, look, that guy or that gal didn't pay their tax. And at that point in time, if they happen to be in the state of Illinois, well, Illinois would say, all right, you didn't pay your tax, slap your hand, and then they would issue a tax lien certificate, just a piece of paper. Now, why did they issue that? Because they're going to sell the taxes on that property to somebody because they have to pay the treasurer of the county, has to pay the school teachers and the firefighters and the police department and the county employees. So they're going to sell the taxes. Now, when they sell the taxes, whoever buys them, so let's say I bought them, I paid the tax. If I did, then I would make as much as 18%, which is the highest rate it could go, all right? I might make as much as 18% when you finally do come in. Now, 97% of the people will pay the tax. Now, why do you want to buy these certificates? First of all, you can make money on it. Secondly, if the person doesn't come in and pay the tax, you get the property without a mortgage and without a deed of trust. And all you paid for that property was the back taxes. Now, if that isn't a good deal, I don't know what is. All the other states, they have a law. If you don't pay the tax, the government's gonna come out there. They're gonna push everybody out of the house. The sheriff's gonna do that. Then they're gonna confiscate it. The county doesn't want the property. They, they already know they own the county buildings. They own the schools, they own the roads. They don't want any of that stuff. So what are they gonna do? They're gonna put it up for auction. You know what the starting bid is? Starting bid at a tax auction has to be the back taxes or real close. Now, where are you going to buy property with no mortgage and no deed of trust starting bid the back taxes? Hello? Now, did I say these were pristine brand new properties? Sometimes they are because sometimes we buy a whole subdivision wow. and the guy goes broke. But most properties are used and abused. So that's what we're going to talk about for the next 10 to 12 minutes and for the next two videos after this business has been around for 200 years. I didn't invent it. It was invented when people couldn't read and write. So if you can read and write and you want a side hustle, you're in the right place. Wow. So Ted, uh, from what I understand then, that there are certain states in Illinois, the one that we're in is one of them, that issues a tax lien or a tax certificate, but they're not available in every state, right? There's the right. other half of the states that, talk, that, that go through the process you just mentioned. Yeah, they just confiscate the property and they right. put it up for auction. That's okay. going to happen. So the benevolent states of all the 50 states, 20 of them, like Florida, Illinois. Now, if you go to California, no way, no way, Jose. In California, if you don't pay the tax, they let the tax go in default one year, two years, three years. They let it go in default five years. But at the end of the fifth year, they confiscate the property. Now, let me see if I got one on my desk. I think I do. So, folks... They're going to confiscate those properties. I'm not talking about the state of California. I'm just going to talk about Los Angeles. This is the property auction list for Los Angeles only. Wow. And how small is that print? Ooh. Wow. Folks, this book will have a thousand properties that they're going to sell at the Los Angeles auction. You want to go right next door to Riverside County? They'll find 300 to 500. You want to go to San Diego County? They'll have the last auction just took place, 700 properties that they're going to sell. Starting bid is, and I didn't say they sell for this, their starting bid is the back taxes. All right, so if you're a savvy buyer, you got a bunch of money in your checkbook over here, go to California. You can do this in every state. 
except I'm going to teach you how to do it. Sit right on your rusty dusty, just like you're doing now watching me. Just sit right there. I'll teach you how to do it online. I can't get it all done today, but we'll get it done. At the end of this video, I'll say, go to one of my classes. I have one every two weeks. It's a workshop, lasts all day. Costs you 47 bucks. You got 47. You can do it. 47 bucks. All right, back to questions. Okay. So, Ted, uh, you know, there might be some, you know, we do talk to the agent brokerage community, but there might just be a homeowner in there that might be thinking, hey, why didn't my broker tell me about this? Oh, well, the brokers aren't going to tell you about this. But, you know, let's not think that the brokers are bad people. The attorneys aren't going to tell you about this. Nobody's going to tell you about this. Why? Because no commissions are allowed on tax defaulted properties. Mm. So they have to earn their money on commissions. Yeah. Now, how tough well, is that? It's not necessarily part of their package, right? Uh, you know, exactly. the, the, the Chevy salesman is not going to tell you about the latest Mazda. Exactly. Same deal. So most people don't even learn it in class and they don't learn it. And nobody realizes what it be. This is a business of abundance. There's over 5,000 auctions every year. There'll be over 2, 000, 2 million properties go to tax defaulted auction this year. It's a big business. Wow. So, you know, and Ted, that hits home for me because the pool of real estate that is being sold and traded on the market right now is shrinking. And so now we there's a whole new vista. So most of our clients are from the USA, but can people outside of the States also get involved in this, Ted? Oh, absolutely. I can. I, I have people from uh, any anywhere that, that they can get American dollars. You can do this. American dollars in the Internet is all that's required. All right. You, the reason you have to do that is all of the county records are in English and they only know one currency in this country. I mean, it's not unusual. All right. Other countries know different currency, but we only have one currency. All right. So I'm going to show you an example. He lives in Canada. He wanted to buy in different states. So he started buying in Washington state. So he called me and he said, Ted, I can go right across the border and buy. He said, oh, I want to go to other places. So I said, why don't you go to Los Angeles? He said, well, I heard it's a big, a lot of too many people there. And I said, well, I think you got to check it out. When you check it out, you're going to find out there's a lot of people there. But so what? This Look at how many properties there are. So this guy, now you're going to be amazed when you see this just short video. Okay. He did exactly what I told him to do. And he got the list from Los Angeles. And he went there and he bought properties. Now, I'll give you an inside secret. Here's what happens. The treasurer controls the auction, the treasurer of that county. The treasurer is the most powerful person in government, most powerful. Why? Because the treasurer can say, lower the price. Nobody else can do that. The treasurer can do that. So the treasurer held the auction. All right, now there's no way you can sell that many properties in one day. There is no way. So the, that end of the auction, and I told him that was gonna happen. At the end of the auction, the treasurer said, Folks, if you didn't get something today, come back tomorrow because we're going to sell it for half of the back taxes. So he went back the next day and he bought residential lots. I always tell people to buy residential lots to start because the vandals can't get in there. There's no squatters. There's no drug dealers. They don't burn down. All right. And you get a residential lot. You know what the house next door and the lot next door is worth. So now you know value very, very quickly. Easiest, simplest investment. So he bought five properties. Watch this video. You'll be shocked. Folks, let me explain this. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The, the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now, we're going to talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes, and they had over 3,000 properties, and that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Rene Goche from Surrey, B.C. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value, tax assessed value, is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount. 
and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the profit he made, just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? All right, now there you have it. He bought five residential lots in Los Angeles, five of them. He spent $85,000. The properties had a tax assessed value of $1 million. He then, I told him, discount the properties 80% and then sell them. And that's what he did. And he still made a big profit. So the question was, can you buy from outside the United States? So I have clients in France, Germany, um, 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 UK, all the provinces of Canada, uh, Singapore. Um, I even get pe people from, from Mexico City. I get them from everywhere. But you have to have, it, you have, to have U.S. money to do it because the counties don't recognize any other money. So you can do this anywhere in the United States if you want, from anywhere you want, as long as you have an internet connection. Fantastic. Um, okay, Ted, what should I buy? Is it tax lien certificates or tax defaulted properties? Wow. All right, now I got a lot of people that got to this gray hair stuff like I do. <laughs> All right, so they're conservative. All right, and here's how a tax lien certificate works. You, the investor, invest with the county. You don't invest with Ted Thomas. You invest with the county. That means your money is protected by the property tax code. So the county's got your money. When the people come in to pay, they have to pay their taxes to the county. All right, now no one's going to steal anything, right? All right, then the county in turn will send you a check. Now, I describe it that way, but everything's electronic today. So you're going to pay them electronically. Then what's happening, I don't have one on my desk. All right, you're going to phone is going to go ding like that. And they're going to show how they made a deposit when the guy paid. So that's how the... So that's a very conservative, easy investment. 97% of all tax lien certificates will pay. All right. So if you want a conservative investment, that's it. Now, if you're an entrepreneurial person like but, me. Uh, but Ted, I don't mean to interrupt. Conservative, high rate of return. High rate of return, but you're going to buy a lot of them and yep. that kind of thing. All right. The other side of that is I like to go to the auction. And I always look at the property. So don't buy a property unless you looked at it. So I look at the ones. I want to buy bigger properties. I want to get properties that are going to have uh, a retail value of 700 or 500 or something because they're used and abused. They might need a new roof. They might need paint. I know they need kitchens and bathrooms. I'm going to do, I'm willing to do all that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not looking at my hands. So I couldn't do that. I have to have people come in and do it. But now what if I can buy that property for 40% on the dollar? What if it's a $700,000 property and I can buy it for 300? Is that a good deal? Put 100,000 in? All right, now that's an exaggeration. Most of my students make 25, 50, and 100,000. I can show you student after student. I've got one guy that lives in Utah. He's bought 30 properties in Michigan. He's never been to Michigan. He's never made less than 25,000 a property. So tax of all the properties they have in, across America. You can go wow. anywhere you want. You can sit at home and do it. Amazing. So should I buy big ones or small ones? What's, what's my focus there? Well, see, I don't know how much money you have and how much the person has, but I would say if you got $50,000 and you're going to buy tax certificates, don't buy one because the problem is what if he pays it the next day? Right. You've got you a lot one of day's effort. Yeah. yeah, it was too much effort. So why not buy five or six of them? And one will get paid in three months. One will get paid in nine months. One won't get paid, whatever, you know, that kind of thing. Okay. Uh, I know we discussed it earlier and you said people would buy online and that's fine, but what if I want to go to an auction. Are the auctions like 100 people, 20 people? How many people show up to these things? Well, Los Angeles, they'll have, uh, uh, this is a, the high point, they'll have 2,500 people show up. I mean, it's so busy that they have to hold it at the fairgrounds. It's, it's a huge auction. But the average small town auction is going to have somewhere between 20 people and 200. But at an auction, if you see, if you go there and there's 200, I can tell you right now, and you can write it down, only 20% of them bid. 80, 20 really works here. 20% of the people, most of the people go to auction. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're just watching though. Only about 20% of the people actually bid at the auction. And we're running out of time on this video. So I need to stop. But folks, let me stop by doing this. I'm going to come back and I'm going to tell you about a guy that made so much money. You're going to be shocked. But first, I want to tell you, every two weeks, I do an all day workshop. It's myself and my coaches 
And my people that work with me, we do an all day workshop. So it's at 11 in the morning, goes all the way to six o'clock. It's virtual. You can sit it on your rusty dusty. You can have a coffee, you can have a drink, you can have your lunch, you can have breakfast, lunch with us. And we're gonna teach you for six hours. So if you're learning something now, just imagine what would happen in six hours time. Now, I don't do anything free. I'm not an internet marketer, I'm a teacher, okay? $47 is what I charge for it. You can register below me when we finish. Now I'm gonna come back in a minute. I'm gonna show you a guy that came from a foreign country. We just taught him how to do it. He made over six figures. You're gonna be shocked. Be sure and come back. We'll be back number three in just a few minutes.